I am Professor Dr. Vivek Gupta in Apollo Hospital in New Delhi on 27th of February. This is a little interesting case. It is basically a video for the public. They should know that sometimes you have to do electrophysiological study when the angiography is normal. This is an elderly gentleman about 78 years old and he has a history of syncope. That means he was unconscious two, three times during the last one month. So the treadmill test was done. It was positive and therefore we went ahead with the angiogram. Angiography was absolutely normal. So there are two, three causes of syncope or unconsciousness in the elderly population. One can be a complete heart block, intermittent, that means heart the speed goes down and therefore the patient goes unconscious because the supply of the brain is affected. Or there else there could be a ischemia of the heart which is blockage of the coronary artery and therefore there sometimes the heart ventricle take area and patient has syncope. So angiography was normal and we also checked the carotid arteries and that was also normal. So now this time we are doing the checking with the help of an electrophysiological study, which is an electrical study of the heart, which is done rarely, but it is not so uncommon. It's done only in higher centers. So we have to do the catheter, which goes inside the vein, as you can see. And then you can see in the fluoro that we can see the AH. We have to put two electrodes, one in the right atrium and other is at the his bundle. And we see, we see on the top, we measure the various, various intervals. Come back to me and various intervals, uh, we measured the intervals inside the heart uh, to see whether there was a possibility of the patient going into complete heart block. Complete heart block means the electrical system from the right atrium coming to the left uh, ventricle is slowed down and the heart rate goes down to about 40, 30 and the patient becomes unconscious and patient recovers after some time. This is a potentially life-threatening situation and therefore we have to do uh, this study of electrophysiological study. In this patient, when we did the electrical physiological study, we have to do AH interval, which is atria and his, the his and ventricle, and these two intervals are found whether they are elevated or not. In this patient, it was found to be normal. So this is interesting because now, come back to the side, we, we show the graph, AH, show me the AH, this one. Yeah, you can see, just figure it out. AH interval is 88 and H V interval is 41. And basic cycle length is 746 and sinus node recovery time is also normal about 200 or 300. More than 500 is significant. So coming back to the patient, so in this patient we have done three studies. One is angiography, another is carotid angiography and then the third is electrophysiological study with the help of my team Mr. Lalit and Mr. Basan and all have been found to be normal. Therefore, we almost rule out that this was a cardiac syncope. So syncope, as I said, loss of consciousness can be cardiac or neurogenic. But since cardiac syncope is potentially life-threatening and therefore patient can have a sudden death, therefore we have to do all these studies to confirm whether we are going ahead to requirement of permanent pacemaker or not. So this patient will be treated medically and there is another test which is head up tilt test and sometimes we do also MRI of the brain. And uh, just to find out, now I will have to give a neurological reference to find out whether it was a neurological syncope or not. As I told you, cardiac syncope is a life-threatening life situation and patient can have a cardiac arrest and therefore we have to do all these studies. Dr. Vivek Gupta from Apollo Hospital explaining that the need for electrophysiological study in few selected patients when the cause of unconsciousness is not clearly known. Thank you very much. I am myself with Mr. Lalit and Mr. Basant in Apollo Hospital on 27th of February 2020 explaining to you the need of electrophysiological studies in patients who have lost consciousness. Thank you very much.